Hi everyone, I'm Ellen March and this is So What with Sulky. Welcome to all of you who have never been here before. Thanks for joining. And for all of you joining me again, welcome back. I am so excited about today. I have a lot to talk about. You will see in the description of today's post, it is quite long. And that is because we're going to be talking about a lot of things, and I want to make sure that you have all the links to everything I'm talking about. So make sure you hit that little button that says show more so that you can see the entire description of today's post and you can navigate to all of those links uh, for what I'm talking about today. I did realize after the post uh, went live that I forgot to link to one very important thing. So I'm going to add it right now and it will be at the top of the chat. Um, I'm going to talk about that in just a second. Before I talk about that link, I want to make sure that you are all aware that we have a free shipping promotion happening now. You can see that it ends November 2nd at midnight, but you can start taking advantage of this right now. So be sure to use that coupon code free shipping to make sure that you don't pay for shipping on anything you order from today's Facebook Live or anything else until November 2nd. So be sure to jot that down um, and take advantage of that while it's going on. All right. So I wasn't going to talk about this for a couple more weeks because it's not happening for a couple more weeks, but you know me and you know that I cannot really keep the secret. <laughs> So I'm going to give you all a sneak peek uh, about our first ever live video cast that we will be doing on November 10th. It is at 2 p.m. Eastern Time, and we will be going through the steps for embroidery and construction on this faux leather Clara bag. For those of you who have attended a Sulky webinar in the past, give me a thumbs up or a heart or some kind of something if you have participated in one of our free webinars. We've gotten a lot of feedback from a number of you who want to see video instruction in the webinars. Now, it takes a village, let me just tell you, <laughs> to put on a video webinar of the quality that you should expect from Sulky of America. So we have been working tirelessly for, man, it's been a long time, I would venture to say a year now, to bring you an education platform like no other. So when you click on that link I put in the comments to go and register for this video cast, you will see this new platform that we are presenting to you. On the platform, that is where you will view the video cast. It's going to be live in my studio. I will have my cutting table set up. I will have cameras on the sewing machine. I will have cameras overhead. I will have a camera on my face. It's gonna be Camera City because we want you to be able to see everything associated with this bag. I will say it's a little bit more of an intermediate project, but I really think I'm going to be able to explain it well enough that a, a confident beginner will be able to tackle this project as well. It does feature machine embroidery, and I will be giving tons of tips for machine embroidery on faux leather. Faux leather is an amazing fabric to work with. You end up with a super professional looking bag uh, because of the materials that you've chosen, and yet the construction steps are rather simple. So we're elevating the bag by using a really, really awesome faux leather by Sally Tomato, and we're going to be adding some high-end hardware to the bag. And by doing that, you can see on the clasp um, there, and there's some hardware that is included on the back because it's this convertible strap I'll show you in a second. By doing that we're creating this boutique style bag that would retail in the 300s of dollars probably 
um, or more because of the beautiful embroidery. And guess what? You get to keep it and you get to flaunt it and you get to make it. And it's really fun. I've made several of them to prepare for the video cast and I think you're all going to enjoy it. Now, I will be talking about this at length in a couple more weeks uh, because on November 10th when we do the webinar, or excuse me, when we do the video cast, um, I'll be having a Facebook Live uh, before that as usual and I'll go in detail about the project. But I wanted to make sure that you were aware that the link is live. You can go register now um, and unprecedented, you can buy the kit now and have it on hand when we're doing the video cast. Now, it's not meant to be a sew along, meaning I'm not expecting you to be at your machine and sewing along with me because it's 90 minutes long, might go a little longer than that, but that's not long enough for you to complete the project, okay? So, it would be helpful, though, to have some of those pieces in front of you. So when I am instructing you, you can refer to the pieces and say, oh, OK, I know what she's talking about. But it is certainly not required that you have the kit in advance. However, we do tend to sell out of these things rather quickly. We, uh, you know, thought ahead and we we prepared extra. However, to make sure you get the color that you want, you might want to go ahead and grab the kit early. Like I said, it's already on sale. We normally don't put the kits uh, for our webinars and video casts on sale until the day of the event. However, we wanted to make sure it's available to you uh, be since we're doing something different and changing it up. So another thing to mention is, oh, some people are asking what link am I referring to? I'm going to add it again to the comments and uh, look in the comments uh, for the sulky comments and you'll see the link. It's the link to register for the video cast and you will see it costs $5.99 to attend, $5.99. Now, some of you may be asking, hey, we normally get free webinars. What is the deal? Well, like I said, we are changing it up. There's going to be cameras. There is going to be real-time sewing. Um, I'm setting up my studio like nobody's business so that you can see in real time what's going on. Um, also, we have this brand new platform, like I mentioned. When you go through the checkout process, the video cast is going to go into your library, okay? That is your library to access whenever you want. So you can log in to your library, access that video cast, access the freebies, access the design downloads, access everything that you need associated with that video cast. You can also add our previous free webinars to your video cast, or excuse me, to your uh, account. So it's like a storage place for everything to live for you to easily refer to later. You don't have to go through the sulky.com site and try and sift through all the webinars to find what you're looking for. You can dump everything here and always have a place to refer to. So, you know, the $5.99 with that comes all of these great things I just mentioned. Also, as a free gift to you for purchasing the video cast, you will get a machine embroidery alphabet collection valued at $19.99. So really, you're coming out about $14 a head if you purchase the video cast. So that alphabet, I'm going to be showing how to use that alphabet to de design to personalize your bag. So you can see these two bags on the image that I'm putting on the screen, but I also made a third one to show that alphabet design. And you can see it's a pretty large scale design. I mean, look, I'm putting my hand against it so you can see the scale of it, but it comes in three sizes. You'll get a three inch, four inch, and five inch alphabet collection. This is a scroll alphabet. You will get it in uppercase, lowercase, and all the numbers that you need to complete the alphabet. So you can create someone's name, you can create a really pretty three letter monogram, you can use one letter like I did here, or with purchase of the kit, you will get this butterfly design, 
and that really pretty floral design that just flows right along the clasp. So here is the butterfly design. You can see also a very large scale design. I'll be giving tips on how to embroider dense designs on faux leather, which is a very challenging thing to do most of the time. But I am pretty sure I have developed a revolutionary machine embroidery technique in the development of this project. I have never seen it done before. I can't wait to share it with you. I think you will all find it relatively simple uh, after I explain it to you. So it took me a while to develop it in the development of this project, but um, I've gotten it to a place where I, I think it's, it's an amazing technique. All right, this is the other one, just so you can see. I mean, these are so awesome. I love this bag. It opens up and it has a zipper opening on the front, so zipper pocket. Then you also have your inside of the bag, of course. And then, like I mentioned, it's a convertible strap. So you can take this strap off and use it like a clutch and hold it here. You can hold it here. You can hold it with the strap and then the strap itself is convertible, all right? This is a Sally Tomato bag design. We love our partnership with Sally Tomato. We've been working with them for a while now on our bag projects and the instructions, the, the, the way the bag is constructed so that all of the seams are hidden and beautifully sewn. Um, it, I just love how Jess of Sally Tomato writes her patterns, constructs the bag, and is really, really smart about the steps. So I digress. The strap is also convertible. So you, we're gonna learn how to put in all this hardware, but you basically take this apart and then you can move it and put it in a little bit higher and then you've got more of a shoulder bag. So completely customizable and it's made out of this just fantastic faux leather. It sews like butter. It feels so amazing. Um, I just think you guys are going to absolutely love this bag. You're going to want it in both colors. I know it. <laughs> so be sure to register for the video cast. Um, you know, register early so that you can check out the platform. You can browse around, add other things to your library. You, you know, and with those other things are lots of free downloads. If you haven't experienced our webinars in the past, you can grab up free designs, patterns, you can get to know the instructors, you can watch videos. I mean, it's amazing. We've worked really, really hard on it, and I think you guys are absolutely going to love the experience. Okay, so I probably talked about that a little longer than I should have because we will be, like I said, going into more detail if there is more detail about this video cast in the coming weeks. So make sure and register and grab your spot today. All right, so I thought, you know, it's Halloween's this weekend. If we're not ready for Halloween, then you know, we're just probably not gonna get there, am I right? Um, I'm sure there are some quick and easy things you can still bang out before Saturday, but let's be real. It's time to move on to Thanksgiving. Okay. So I really was thinking, how can we dress up our Thanksgiving table, whether we're having an intimate gathering or whether, whether we're having our six person gathering or whatever it is recommended that we do to say, stay safe for this holiday. I thought it would be nice to jazz up the table a little bit and to create some really pretty uh, items that we can share and use for years to come. So one of my favorite embroidery design companies is Designs by Juju. We have used those designs in the past to do some monogramming on some towels and you all just fell in love with it. So 
I created some Thanksgiving placemats and I used some large scale quilting motifs from Designs by Juju to embellish the center of the placemat. And what's great about these designs is they are line art designs. You know, they're meant to be quilting motifs. So they don't have any fill stitches in them. So I thought to myself, let's use the Sulky Polystar thread, which is our 30 weight thread that has flecks of metallic running through it. And let me test that out on these quilting motifs and see how beautiful it is. So I'm going to take you through the project and the link to all the how to's um, is in the description of today's post. It'll say Thanksgiving placemat how to's. So you don't have to write anything down. You don't have to take notes. Everything is there in the blog post. The designs, uh, the link to the designs by Juju collection is there in the blog post. The link to the Polystar collection, everything is there, everything that you need, all the dimensions to cut for the placemat, etc. So refer to that if you want the full instructions. First, we're going to start out with some of the materials that we need. Now, this is our Polystar Fall six pack. It's in all the great colors that you need for fall. So you've got a little bit of green, of course, an orange, some burgundy, some brown. Um, they're just the perfect colors for Thanksgiving y, toasty, fall, pumpkin spice type of designs and things like that. These are the six colors that you get with that collection. It retails for $24.99. I put the link in the description of the post if you're interested in grabbing that up while we have the free shipping promotion. Also, for the center of the placemats, I used a fat quarter and then I cut it down after embroidery. So what I discovered was we have these great fat quarters, uh, fat quarter bundles at sulky.com and they go with MJ Kinman's birthstone collection um, thread bundles, patterns, and that type of thing. There, there are, um, there's a fall collection. It's called Citrine, and it has a lot of yellows and oranges and browns to it. Um, and there are a few more that um, I just thought really went well with this fall six pack of thread. So I grabbed up that fabric bundle, and that is what I used for my six placemats. Now, you may not need six placemats. You may have solid fabric in your stash that you can use, but if you do need a six pack, it's Paintbrush Studio Fabrics, really great quality, um, really nice hand to it, and it takes embroidery really, really well. Um, it's got a nice weight to it. And then I have my batting, um, acting as sort of the backdrop for this photo. So you also need some batting. You also need for your stabilizer, Sulky Soft and Shear. Soft and Shear is a cutaway stabilizer. I'm actually going to uh, embroider with it and make sure it's large enough so that my center square has the full sheet of Soft and Shear behind it. And that is going to make sure that my placemats stay nice and flat over time. You know, a placemat you need to throw in the washing machine lots and lots of times over, you know, the course of fall and over the course of many years. So you want to make sure that that stabilizer stays behind it to just make sure that your placemats are going to last a long time. And your embroidery is always going to sit atop the surface and stay nice and pretty. Okay, so that is the materials. Now, before I get to the embroidery, though, I should probably show you what the placemats look like. <laughs> Getting ahead of myself. So like I said, I made six. You may not need to make six. You can make two. You can make 12. Go nuts. The G Designs by Juju Embroidery Collection has more than six designs in it. So you can, you know, make as many as you want and they would still look different. Now I chose a different center fabric color for each placemat and just made sure that they coordinated. And then for each of the six placemats, I chose a different thread color from the Fall Polystar palette. So this is the first one. They got a little bit wrinkled because I had them rolled up to actually ship to Sulky headquarters. And then I realized I needed to show you all, so I got them out of the bag. 
All right, so really cute. It's hard to see the sheen. Can you see the metallic thread kind of running through that polyester? So it just adds a bit of, you know, subtle glam, really, to your Thanksgiving table. And I just love how it turned out. And you can see it's 30 weight thread, so it really pops and it really has great coverage for that design. It doesn't sink into the fabric surface at all and stays really, really nice and prominent. So this one is pumpkins and it says thankful. And then we have a little fabric bouquet. All right, really cute. And I love how large they are. They take up the whole space of the center rectangle. This is our cute little pilgrim hat. And oh, you can really see that one sparkling a lot. And I used sulky bobbin thread with these, um, with the poly star. Sulky bobbin th thread is a lightweight, um, inexpensive thread. You don't need to use the poly star in the bobbin because you're not going to see it on the wrong side. This is the wrong side. It's just totally flat. All right, here's the little turkey. Here is a piece of pumpkin pie. This is actually what prompted me to use this design collection because I saw the piece of pie and I was like, what am I going to make with that? I love it. And then We've got our turkey, our living turkey, <laughs> if you will. All right, so now you know what we're making. Let's continue on. All right, so in the hoop, you're going to place your soft and sheer batting and your fabric on top of that. And it's very important we adhere everything together with our good old Sulky KK2000, which is our temporary spray adhesive. Get all your layers together with that. Make sure everything is smoothed out nicely. And then we're going to put it in the hoop. Now, these are large scale designs. They take a really big hoop. But the collection comes in lots of sizes. So if you only have a 4x4 four four hoop, um, you could sew this out really small and make coasters out of it or mug rugs doing the same exact thing I'm doing with the placemat, um, just on a smaller scale. And those would be really cute on, you know, your coffee table during the, you know, fall season. Um, they also make really great hostess gifts. If you're going to someone's house for Thanksgiving, make six little mug rugs um, using a 4 by 4 hoop and just package them up maybe with a cute little set of mugs. So that would be really cute. All right, so you're going to embroider your design. Then you take everything out of the hoop and you're going to square up your rectangle. Again, full instructions, dimensions, all of that are in the blog post that I linked to in the description of today's post. Then we are going to sew our little side rectangles onto our middle rectangle. And you can see I have a layer of batting along the back side of my outer fabric. That is so that everything is sort of the same height across my placemat length. So we're going to sew that. And you'll want to use a construction thread for this. I like to use the Sulky uh, Cotton and Steel Thread by Sulky as my construction thread. It's a 50 weight cotton thread. And you'll want to change your needle as well. I should have mentioned that. And I did see some people asking, what needle do we use for the Polystar embroidery? We're going to use a 9014 embroidery needle. And at Sulky, we've got um, assorted embroidery needles, which I love to get because the 9014s are in here and also the 7511s. So when you need to switch to a smaller needle for um, a different thread that you're using, a lighter weight thread than 30 weight, you all, you've, you've got your assortment and you can easily swap between the two. All right, so... When we're using the cotton and steel 50 weight, we can use a 7511 uh, universal, or excuse me, a 7010 universal. So we'll swap to that for the construction. All right. So we, we're going to sew on the sides of our placemat. 
Then we're gonna top stitch those seams. Now, for the top stitching, I did go back to the poly star. And that is so I still have that really pretty glitzy top stitching detail, okay? Now, if you want, you can keep your poly star and the needle for those side seams. You don't have to switch to a lighter weight construction thread. I was really just trying to conserve my precious poly star. <laughs> But it is just two seams and it won't hurt anything to stitch those using the poly star and not swapping out your needle if you're really trying to bang out a bunch of these. So, all right. After the top stitching, we've got our pretty front. You're going to give it a good press from the wrong side um, and you can press your seams toward those side panels. So everything's nice and flat. Now we're going to construct this basically like we would construct a pillow. So we're going to do a stitch and flip method and then we're going to hand sew or top stitch the opening closed when we're finished. Super easy way to construct this, but if you want a nice little narrow bound edge, you can definitely construct this the way you would do a quilt add binding. You can also add extra quilting stitches if you want. It is completely your choice. All right, so here I've got my backing on and I've clipped that using my great Clover Wonder Clips and then sew the perimeter. And make sure you leave an opening for turning. My tip is whether you're using Wonder Clips or pins, Always double pin or double click, click, double clip on either side of your intended opening. So you can do your opening along one of the little side edges or along the lower edge and put double pins so that you know that's where you're starting and stopping. Um, not only when you sew your perimeter, but, um, or excuse me, when you're sewing your perimeter and when you're trimming it up. All right. So then we'll turn it right side out and top stitch the entire thing, closing the opening with our stitches. And, and then they're done. And then you just make as many as you want. It, that's as easy as it is. And it looks really professionally done um, because you've added this sparkly embroidery. So making the construction really, really simple, yet these are such a showstopper, really. All right, and then I've got final photos of all of these, or you know, working photos, I should say. Um, I did show them to you already, but I can kind of blow through these, and then let's address some questions regarding this project, and then I have another one for you as well that I think you're really gonna like. So here's our pumpkins, and then we've got our cute pilgrim, and these are my dishes in the background that, it's funny, I only break them out for Thanksgiving, but I love them so much. They're super vintage. Um, they belonged to my grandmother. They're, I, I call them my Thanksgiving dishes, so I had to use them in the photo shoot. <laughs> oh, there's our turkey. And you know what's crazy is these are not that wrinkly. I don't know why they look so wrinkled in these pictures. Um, my lighting must have been not so great. Um, so they pick up things that aren't really there. So, and there's our turkey. I just love these. Oops, sneak peek of the next project. All right, so before we get to Hedgehog, and you can see my, my Hedgehog is joining me in the back here too. I'll talk about him in just a second as well. Let's address some questions because a lot of things um, have been coming in and I appreciate that. I will mention, for all of you who are commenting, sharing, liking the Sulky Facebook page, liking the post today, um, giving me your emoji faces and all that fun stuff, I do have a giveaway. So today's giveaway is going to be the Sweet Pea Fall Thread Collection. It is a collection of six spools of Sulky Rayon Thread, again, in those great fall colors, and with that thread collection, you get design files to make our next project, which is this cute little hedgehog silverware pocket. 
So wouldn't that be cute placed on the top of your dishes on your Thanksgiving table? You insert your little silverware setting and a napkin into the pocket. Everybody can take it home as a little, um, as a little party favor. You can personalize it with a name along um, that little green, uh, green fabric piece along the bottom. And uh, yeah, super cute. So that comes with purchase of the Rayon six pack and that is today's giveaway. All right, so let's address some of your questions and make sure that we are uh, taking care of everyone's needs today. <laughs> All right. Oh, someone said, good morning from snowy Denver. Yes, I am in Colorado as well. Can you believe it? I think it's all the way up to 10 degrees right now. Yeah, snow on the ground. I'm really hoping that things thaw out a little bit, at least for Halloween. Um, but we need the snow just like everybody needs moisture right now. Um, all of you who are in danger of these fires, we've had fires in Colorado, fire, the fires in California, everything's so frightening right now. So I'm glad we could be together for this little time and have a little escape with our sewing. Um, that's a lot of the reason why we sew, right? Is to escape everything else. Okay. Sorry, it's taking me a little... Oh, yes, people are talking about the video cast. Um, if you happen to miss the beginning of today's broadcast, um, I was talking about our faux leather video cast. Make sure you go and register. Who has registered already? Give me a thumbs up if you've registered already. <laughs> All right, a few of you, great. Okay, let's get to the questions. There's a lot of them. Um, it's taking me a bit to sift through them. Okay, here we go. Carol is saying, I have tried Juju's designs, designs by Juju. They work awesome. Love the thread and the designs. Yes. And like I said, the link to that design collection that I featured for the Thanksgiving placemats are all in the blog post. So you can navigate really easily uh, to that and find everything that you need. Okay. Oh, I should, I should definitely address this. Tammy is asking, this is in regard to the video cast. Is there a problem with the site? I put in my card info to register, but did not get any confirmation. If you registered and didn't get a confirmation, it's more than likely you aren't registered. You should have gotten an email thanking you for your purchase. Um, and then you will have a login that you need to create so that you can have that library I was talking about. So if you have had problems registering for the video cast, please, please email us at info at sulky.com. We will either walk you through it or we can look at the back end of the site and make sure that you're registered. And if you're not, we can walk you through the process. We want to make sure that you can access it. And, you know, this platform is new to us. We've done a lot, a lot of testing with it, but there's bound to be hiccups that, uh, you know, along the way that we need to adjust and accommodate for and learn from and just get better in the future. So, okay. Kathleen is asking, where do we order the Sulky thread? You can go right to sulky.com. You can order any Sulky thread that you like. There are six packs. There are individual spools of everything in the Sulky line. You can find it there. And like I said, we've got a free shipping promotion right now. So anything you get is going to ship for free. You can grab up one of these really cute sewing machine pins as well. Add that to your order. <laughs> all right. Thank you so much for uh, all of these comments, everyone. I, I'm sorry that I'm not catching up with them as quickly as I should be today. All right. Beth says, I would love to try the Sulky Bobbin Thread. I really recommend it for all, almost all machine embroidery. Um, it's just the perfect weight to pair with 40 weight thread, which is traditionally what embroidery designs are digitized for. And it ensures a balanced stitch out. So for a balanced stitch out, you want to make sure that your top thread 
is ever so slightly pulling towards the back of your work. Okay, if you have bobbin thread pulling up to the front of your work, then you've got a tension issue or a thread weight issue. Okay, and then we need to do some some recon. We need we need to uh, do some adjustments to get that um, to 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 balance your stitch out. Okay. All right, and. Beth says need to get pre-wound pre bobbins. Yes, we also offer a few black and white pre-wound pre bobbins in two different sizes. So make sure you consult your sewing machine manual to get the right size that you need when you're getting pre-wounds. Pre I cannot say that word. All right. Kim is also looking for the link to the placemat designs. Okay, so in the description of today's post, you may have to click the little button that says see more. That's gonna expand the description. It's a rather long one today because I have a lot to talk about, but that's where you will find the blog post that has all the instructions and the link to the designs from Designs by Juju. Okay, and Beth is asking, how big are the designs? Do they fit a seven by five hoop? I believe the designs go from 4x4, 5x7, 7x10, all the way up. Um, they get really large. I think for these, I used a 360x260 hoop. That's the biggest hoop that I have for my Husqvarna Viking Designer Epic. Um, that's the biggest hoop I own. Um, and I used that so I could hoop the entire fat quarter with my batting and my Sulky Soft and Shear Stabilizer and then I cut it down afterwards. If you have a smaller hoop, um, you can do a hoopless embroidery method um, if your fabric is not large enough to fit in the hoop. All right. And thank you, Linda. Linda has put the link to the Thanksgiving placemat project in the comments as well. So I appreciate that, thank you. I love that we're all here to help each other out. Okay, Anne is asking, does Polystar wash well? I'm assuming that's wash. Now, I have washed it in my sewing machine on um, cold water wash and I tumbled dry. Um, I did that with the gauze throw that I quilted and showed you guys um, a few weeks back. It performed very nicely. Um, I suggest pre-washing your fabrics first so that they don't shrink up around those embroidery stitches. Um, but I have not found a problem washing the thread. Um, you can also iron it on a low temp iron, but I just, as a general rule, I always press and or iron my embroidered things from the wrong side. It's just a practice that I've always done. I don't want to risk flattening my embroidery stitches or, God forbid, melting them. Um, because I always have my iron turned way too high. <laughs> so I always just uh, err on the side of caution and press from the wrong side. All right. Betsy, hedgehog. Yes, we're going to get there. <laughs> the hedgehog behind me. Okay, I'll start talking about that while I am going through more questions. Um, this hedgehog, Headley the Hedgehog, is actually an embroider buddy. Have y'all heard of embroider buddies? We have them on the Sulky site, and there's a hedgehog, there's a dinosaur, there's some bears, um, all types of things. And I thought that he just fit into my theme today rather well. So if you're unable to have your family over for Thanksgiving, you want to make some really pretty placemats. You want to make your hedgehog silverware holders. You can just have this buddy next to you, I guess. <laughs> but why I wanted to show this, an embroider buddy is a little stuffy that you can put embroidery on the belly. And here's how easy it is. You unzip him. You take everything out of him. And then you can hoop the belly and put someone's name, put a monogram, put a soccer ball, 
put something to personalize this and it makes a great Christmas gift, okay? And, you know, they're rather large. You can use, you know, toddlers can use this as a little pillow even. So super cute. And I just thought, hey, we're talking about the hedgehog cutlery holder today. Why not bring Headley the Hedgehog to the party? <laughs> because you might want to grab up this guy. There's only three left in the store. So while we have free shipping, add this guy to your cart, add the hedgehog thread palette, and you'll have a little theme going on for your Thanksgiving or fall table. All right. So I'll try to get to some more questions after I talk about the hedgehog cutlery holder. And so we'll go back to some of these and make sure we're addressing them. Um, let's see. Oh, Barbara, thank you so much. She says her video cast registration went to her junk mail folder. So make sure you're checking your junk folder, your spam folder. Maybe your registration went there. And then you can make sure to, um, to basically remove it from junk and tell your um, email provider that you want these notifications so you won't miss um, other things. Okay, great. Thank you so much for letting me know. All right. Okay, Linda's asking, where should the heavier weight thread be? In the bobbin or the top? You want your heavier weight thread to go through the needle on the top and then your sulky bobbin thread goes on the bottom and that is going to give you your balance stitch out. Now if you're doing bobbin work, which is something different totally entirely, you would put your heavier weight in the bobbin, but let's not even go there today. We will do bobbin work on a different day. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay. Deborah says, I've done embroidery buddies. They are great. They're so cute. All right. Sharon is asking, does the free shipping apply to a specific amount or order? So, no minimums. Free shipping on anything in the store. So grab that up. Make sure you use that coupon code or you're not going to get the free shipping. It will not be applied automatically to your cart, so make sure you use that coupon code. No minimums. All right. Betsy is loving Headley the Hedgehog. Me too. I mean, it was so cute when hedgehogs and llamas and um, all these sort of unconventional furry creatures, unconventional? I don't know. Unpopular? Not talked about very often. Furry creatures came back on the scene, and I'm happy that that is still a trend that we're seeing. So let's go right to the hedgehog cutlery holder. This is what I'm talking about. Oh, wait. This is what I'm talking about. Now, this is made entirely in the hoop of your embroidery machine. So we call it an in-the-hoop project. We're going to make this little pocket all in the hoop. Everything is constructed in the hoop except your very, very last seam, which is your opening for turning. And that is what we hand sew. And then we turn the whole thing right side out. And we've got this beautiful embroidery and this cute little hedgehog and little acorns and little fall seam. All right. So first up, we're going to hoop the stabilizer only. And we're going to build this little pocket right there on top of the stabilizer. So for this, we're going to use two layers of sulky Fabrisolvi. Fabrisolvi is a fabric-like water-soluble stabilizer. So it's going to act as a really good base for layering all these appliques and adding all this thread. And then when we're done, it's gonna wash away entirely. You can also tear some of it away along areas of really high stitch count because it's sort of, um, it will sort of perforate just a little bit enough for you to kind of tear it away. But the important thing is it washes away entirely when we are, com when we're complete. So first step is to secure the batting in the hoop. And 
the embroidery collection or the embroidery design, the in the hoop hedgehog design, um, was digitized by Sweet Pea Embroidery, and it comes with our six pack of thread. So you need six threads in order to do this, and you're going to want to grab those because if you're making a lot of these, like I said, for your Thanksgiving table or as cute little hostess gifts or as um, a little party favor when Thanksgiving is done, you know, adding someone's name, like I said, along that bottom little green portion, um, the grass that the hedgehog is sitting on, then you're going to need all that thread to complete all of those. So make sure you grab that up. All right. Along with your design files, you will get full instructions for step one, you know, is your placement for the batting. Step two is your uh, batting, uh, your securing stitch for the batting. Then you'll cut away the batting and you'll continue adding layers um, of fabric for applique, fabric for your little pocket as instructed to build this in the hoop. And at the end of the day, you end up with something that is entirely professionally done. All of your pieces get trimmed um, according to the little tacking stitches. Uh, so you don't have to pre-cut all these pieces and then place them where they need to go. So in the hoop projects are just great, great time savers and great ways to make assembly line gifts. So something where you want it to look exactly the same for everyone, but maybe it has their name on it. And so it's personalized in that way. In the hoop projects are great for that. All right, so here we are continuing to build um, on that batting in the hoop. Uh, by placing different fabrics at different times, switching out different threads at different times so that our green thread is matching our uh, green fabric and so on. So then you get to the decorative hedgehog portion of the design. You'll switch out your thread colors as directed and you just continue moving forward. There are a lot of steps to this design but it's really cute and it's really just so fun to create these. So now you can see the pocket kind of coming together, right? So we've got our front piece. It's got the batting behind it. It has all those cute uh, hedgehog and pine cones and um, acorn decorations. Um, before you would add this other green fabric, which is the lining for that front piece, this is where you would add the name or the monogram or the little message. Maybe you want to write be thankful or Thanksgiving 2020 um, or something like that. You would want to add that before you add this lining piece. Okay, so then you'll add that over the top and then your machine will stitch it down. Then you'll add two more fabric pieces to act as the back and the back lining piece. All right. So then we will remove everything from the hoop and trim around the pocket stitching. And as you can see, you want to leave a little bit of a seam allowance there at the bottom edge so that you can turn that under and hand sew the opening closed and, and hide all of your stitching. After that, you can see um, this is a different color because you're actually going to turn this wrong side or right side out twice. Um, it sounds a little bit confusing, but like I said, with your design files, you'll get full instructions and they come with photos. So you'll be able to go step by step and understand what you're doing when and where and how. <laughs> All right. And then you'll do your final turning right side out and hand sewing that little um, opening shut and that goes on your inside lining piece so nobody will ever see it. And then you insert your silverware. And like I said, you can place this next to a place setting or on top of your center plate and have something really, really cute and something special and different at your Thanksgiving table. Oh, there's our other hedgehog buddy. So again, if you need a friend, if you need, if you're having littles, over at your Thanksgiving uh, party or dinner, um, you know, grab up some hedgehogs, give them a little personalized embroidery, 
make your little hedgehog silverware holders and you'll have a nice little theme for your Thanksgiving table. All right, so lots of questions have come in now. Let me make sure I can address them. Scotty is saying, is this adaptable to other designs besides the hedgehog? I would like to have a heart for Valentine's or Christmas tree. Make a set for every holiday. That is a great idea. So what you could do is when you get your thread palette and you create this for the hedgehog, what you could do is change out your fabrics, right? So if you want to do this for Valentine's Day, you would pick some pinks and reds and whites and that type of thing. When you get to the center hedgehog design, skip through all of that and add a little heart design or something like that built into your machine. Now, you probably need to do that in software, I would say, um, or you could skip through all of those design steps um, and then kind of bring in another embroidery design. So you would basically stop the design part way through and then go back to it, never taking the item out of the hoop. I hope that makes sense. That's a way to kind of get around it if you don't have software. If you do have software or if you don't and you want to try this, there are a lot of softwares out there that offer a free trial version where you'd be able to bring in a design and kind of play around with it. Um, or you can get a free trial for a limited time to test it out and see how you like it before you purchase it. You'll, you'll probably re realize rather quickly that you need to have it. <laughs> but it's a good way to kind of test the waters of software is to get a free design version. I know Embrilliance does a free version. Um, your sewing machine may, or embroidery machine may have come with a free trial version of software as well. Um, you can also reach out to them and say, hey, I'd really like to try this before I buy it. Um, and they, they might extend a temporary software license to you. You never know, can't hurt to ask. Um, but at any rate, if you do have software, you would bring the hedgehog design into your software program, delete the little hedgehog portion, add your hearts, stars, Christmas tree, whatever you want to put on it instead, and then resave the design. Don't do anything to the in the hoop steps before and after the hedgehog design, and you will keep the integrity of that project. Then you can resave it and put it back onto your machine. Now, shout out to Sweet Pea Embroidery, and I don't think it's against the rules to do that. Um, after all, you're starting with their design to begin with. Uh, so that's just a way to kind of manipulate it and make it work for some other holidays. That's a really great, great idea. Okay. Carol says, cute hedgehog friend. Yes, thank you. <laughs> Like I said, there are more in the Sulky store at sulky.com. You'll find um, a couple of different dinosaurs, some different um, teddy bears. Um, there's all kinds of stuff. So you'll find that there. All right. Betsy wants to know, what is that spray glue called? Yes, you do need this. So it is Sulky KK2000. I use it all the time with embroidery, appliques, quilt sandwiches, um, really securing anything um, with a temporary hold. And it's air soluble. So after a couple of days, it totally disappears. So if you are working on a quilt and it's gonna take you, you know, longer than a couple of days to quilt it and, and finish that portion of it, you'll wanna reapply the spray when you go back to that project just to make sure that it's um, still tacky. And in that case, I would add some extra pins in the areas um, that you don't want to shift if you're kind of tossing the um, project to the side for a little while. But especially for things like this, smaller placemat things and in the hoop embroideries and securing stabilizer to fabric in the hoop, um, the KK2000 is fantastic. And it comes in two different sizes. So um, for those of you who are using it all the time, grab up the bigger size for sure, um, but two sizes available to you, and it's 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 fantastic. Anyone I've ever given it to to try 
will never go back to anything else. So that says a lot. <laughs> All right. All right. Wendy says, good morning from Arizona. Um, thanks for the chance to win. Yes, I wanted to reiterate that that cute little hedgehog, it comes with purchase of a six pack of Sulky Rayon Embroidery Thread. It's called the Sweet Pea Fall Thread Palette. I linked to it in the description of today's post so you can easily navigate to it. And that's where you're going to get those design files as well. Um, so if you think about it, you're getting a great deal. You don't have to buy that design separately from the thread. It all comes together. Terry wants to know what is that code for free shipping? So let's go find it. It is just free shipping. Use coupon code free shipping, no minimums, and you can use that until November 2nd. So great opportunity to grab some stuff you've been eyeing at sulky.com. All right. Joanne wants to try the KK2000. Yes, do it. And let us know what you think. We always want to know what you are, what you think of the products and how you're using them. So if you do post your makes to social media, always use the hashtag so better with sulky. And that way we will be able to see what you're creating. And we absolutely love that. Deborah's asking, how long will this free shipping offer last? It is until November 2nd. All right. Oh, still can't find the link to order the placemat kit. That's because there isn't a placemat kit. So the uh, thing you want to get for the placemats is the Fall Poly Star six pack. That's going to give you the six spools of thread that you need to create six really pretty different yet coordinating placemats. Now to get the rest of the supply list and everything that you need to create your placemats, head on over to the Sulky blog. It's blog.sulky.com. And I link directly to the Thanksgiving placemat blog post so you can navigate there rather quickly and easily. And you'll find links to the fabric that I used, links to the batting that I used, most importantly, links to that Polystar six pack as well as the Sulky Soft and Sheer, which is great, great, great for embroidery on quilting cottons. All right. Yes, more praise for the KK2000. Absolutely. Okay, Nathine wants to know, can you explain the use of soft and sheer? Absolutely. So soft and sheer is a lightweight cutaway machine embroidery stabilizer. Well, I should just say stabilizer. It can be used for a lot of things, not just machine embroidery. It is a great stabilizer for quilts, quilt blocks, um, anything where you need permanent stability that's going to remain with the fabric over the life of the project. And when you need something lightweight that is not going to really change the hand of that fabric. So something like a quilt where you want it to be cozy, you want to be able to cuddle up with it, you don't want it to be stiff, right? That soft and sheer is going to sort of add thread count to the fabric without making it stiff and unmanageable. So it's a great lightweight fabric for, like I said, quilting cottons, fabric like that. It's also, um, I've, I've used it in some knit embroideries. It comes in a fusible version as well, soft and sheer extra. And I like to use that when embroidering lightweight knits. Um, a knit really needs a cutaway stabilizer that's going to remain with the fabric because of the stretchability of it. So when you are embroidering something really stretchy, um, if you stretch the fabric around that design, it's going to over time make those threads kind of puckery and weird, especially along the edges of the design. So that additional cutaway stabilizer that you cut away close to the perimeter of the design um, just adds stability over time and makes sure that that design isn't going to warp when you're washing it and wearing it and things like that. So there's a lot of uses for Sulky Soft and Sheer and I particularly like it in this project because we've got our outer fabric, we've got our batting, and then that Soft and Sheer 
gives it a lot of stability over time because we're going to be washing these placemats, um, pressing them, using them year after year, storing them, that type of thing. So I like to add that lightweight stabilizer to ensure that everything is going to behave nicely and have a long life. <laughs> okay. Oh, Roberta, thanks. Thanks for the props, Roberta. All right. Rhonda says, I ordered the Poly six pack, but how do I download the free hedgehog embroidery? Okay, so this might be a little confusing, Rhonda. The six pack of Poly Star, which is our fall Poly Star thread palette, is just a six pack of thread, but it's fantastic thread. And it is really sparkly, fun, neat thread that happens to match what I'm wearing right now, I just noticed. The hedgehog design comes with the Sweet Pea Fall Rayon six pack of thread. So two different products we're talking about today. I can totally see now how that was really confusing for me to put them together into one live video. So the Polystar does not come with hedgehog. The Rayon comes with hedgehog. So you'll need to grab that puppy up too, but good thing it's free shipping so you can create a new order and not have to deal with the shipping charges right now. All right. Okay, I'm trying to order the thread kit and there's no place to enter the free shipping code. If you are having problems with your order, you can call the 800 number at sulky.com and make sure that you're entering your shipping code in the right place. So I apologize for the confusion with that. Oh, great idea. Deborah says, I use Soft and Sheer for baby products because it's soft. Perfect. That is perfect. All right, is the Polystar in stores yet? Not quite yet. Um, it's a brand, brand new thread that we launched at sulky.com. Um, it is a, a hopefully going to be, be available in a store near you. Um, so right now, especially while there's free shipping, grab it up at sulky.com. And uh, I, I'm certain that you will start seeing it in your stores. Terry says, what needle is good with the thread? So if you're using that Polystar, you want to use a 9014 needle. And the type of needle that you choose is going to depend on the technique that you are using. So if you're doing machine embroidery, choose a 9014 machine embroidery needle. If you are using it for um, Oh, maybe decorative top stitching. You could use a 9014 top stitch or even maybe a 9014 uh, universal. So the important thing is that your needle is large enough that your thread travels through the eye of the needle without friction. And especially when you've got um, flecks of metallic running through your thread fiber and the high, high speed of embroidery creating a lot of friction as it's moving through that needle eye, you need to make sure you're giving the thread enough room to groove, but not so much room that it is um, not creating a balanced stitch. So if you used a needle that's too large for the thread, you could see loops um, in your finished stitch out, things like that. Okay, Colleen wants to know, how do we order the faux leather? All right, so I was talking about our faux leather Clara bag video cast. Now, if you register for the video cast, you'll be taken to a product page where uh, ultimately you will view that video cast in a couple weeks when we go live on November 10th at 2 p.m. Eastern time. There will also be links to buy the kit, which is on sale already right now. You can get the black bag kit or that mustard yellow and they both have different hardware options. So you can see we've got a nickel option for the mustard. So it's kind of like a shiny, simmer, uh, shiny silvery. And then with the bag, we paired that with the gold hardware option, which looks really, really pretty with the gold embroidery. All right. So once you are uh, on your product page, you will be able to navigate 
directly to purchase your Clara bag kits. Scream and deal right now. It's great. All right. Yes, love the Polystar thread. The stores don't have them. Not yet, I'm sure. And I'm sure if enough of us make a big stink about it, they will call up Sulky and say, I want the thread. I have to carry it. Everyone wants it. Let's get it in the stores. <laughs> okay, where do I find the designs for the placemats? All right, so for the placemats, these designs all came from Designs by Juju. Designsbyjuju.com. It's a collection of designs and like I said it comes in lots of different sizes so if you have hoop limitations take that into account maybe make these smaller so that they are mug rugs or, or coasters instead you would do the same construction techniques just cut your fabrics a little bit smaller but I digress the links for the designs by Juju designs designs by Juju designs are in the blog post. So head on over to blog.sulky.com. You'll find the Thanksgiving placemat post and you can navigate to everything there. Your entire supply list, everything is linked. So uh, you can navigate easily to find all of those things. All right, when is the giveaway? All right, today's giveaway, which is our Sweet Pea Fall six pack, which comes with our cute hedgehog cutlery holder design. I always do the giveaway about 24 hours after our live event. So tomorrow afternoon, I will be picking the winner and I um, randomly choose using a random uh, generator from all of the comments on the post, all of the shares on the post, all of the likes, um, comments, little emoji guys. Um, everything gets put kind of in the hopper and I use a random generator to pick a winner. So. Um, you will be notified through Facebook direct messages that you have won. It's really my only way of contacting you. So make sure you're checking that and um, I, I'll let you know how to redeem your gift um, through that avenue. So that is how we choose. All right. Lots of people wondering about the promo code, and we are here to help you. There are a couple of people commenting on the post. Um, if you're still having issues, you can definitely call our 800 number or email us at info at sulky.com. And if I didn't get to your question, if I happen to scroll by it too quickly, make sure to email us because we are always here to help you through your projects, help you through using Sulky products, um, and just help you in your sewing endeavors. So we are here for you. Make sure to email us and use all of those resources that we put out there um, to connect with you and to help you have a great sewing experience. Oh, Phyllis says Designs by Juju is having a great sale. She just got the Thanksgiving designs. So thanks for letting us know, Phyllis. Yeah, we love them over there. All right. Lots of you saying hello. I appreciate it. That's awesome. Annette says, what software do you advise to use with Designs by Juju? I'm pretty new. So I, I'm not really sure about pairing software with a specific design company. Um, you might want to reach out to them and say, what software do you all prefer to use with your designs if you're really partial to designs by Juju. Um, but software is really meant to help you with sort of any digitized design. You can also get software that allows you to digitize your own artwork. Um, that gets pretty advanced and um, it, it's kind of on a different level, <laughs> but it definitely can be done. And there are also softwares that do auto digitizing. So you can bring in artwork. Let's say you sign your name and you want your autograph on every quilt, everything that you create. You can sign your name, save it as an artwork file on your computer, import it into your embroidery software, do an auto digitizing function, export it in the format you need for your machine, put it into your embroidery machine, and there you've got your signature that you can put on everything that you create. How cool is that? Now, auto digitizing works best with like a line art design, like your signature. It would work great. Some other more complicated designs, you have to do 
more adjustments to make sure that you have a stitch out that, you know, mimics the one that you had in your mind, okay? Um, you can choose from different fill stitches, different fill patterns. Um, if your design has a lot of color fill, um, you know, you can choose long and short stitches. You can do honeycomb patterns. I mean, there, there are so many different ways you can customize designs using software. It, it, you can really get lost in a world of software. So if you are still social distancing out there and you're still uh, kind of sequestered in your home and, you know, it's a great time to dive into the world of embroidery software because you've got the time, you know, and you can spend some hours really diving into the software and making it work for you um, based on what you like to sew the best and what you like to do, what, what your ultimate goal is. So I highly suggest searching out there. And you might first go to your sewing machine manufacturer and saying, what software would work best with my machine versus what software would work best with these designs? Because pretty much any software you get is going to work with pretty much any design you want to manipulate, in my experience. So I've used several different kinds. Um, the software that I'm using right now is called Creative Drawings. Um, I have a little bit older version um, because they are updating it constantly. Um, but I have Creative Drawings 10, and it's very intuitive, and I really like working with it. You may find that something that is more particular to your machine, like the Premiere software that Husqvarna Viking puts out there. Um, I've used that as well. And, um, you know, I, I like it for different reasons, I guess. So it all depends on what your ultimate goal is. And I would really start with your machine manufacturer and see what is most compatible with your machine brand and then go from there. All right. Yay, Robin, this is her first time joining us. Welcome, Robin, you're gonna get a round of applause. <laughs> okay. All right. Marilyn says, thanks for these events while we learn at home. Yes. And you know, we're, we're ramping it up and so is everyone else. I'm seeing so many people are offering virtual events because we cannot be together. We can't go to these consumer shows where we get to see beautiful, exquisite quilts face to face and where we get to shop for everything that we need to stock our sewing rooms for the coming year and the coming season and things like that. So these virtual events are popping up more and more. Um, and I really appreciate you spending your time with Sulky and you spending your time with me. Every Tuesday we do these so what's, so be sure to mark it on your calendar so you don't miss them. And when we are doing our free webinars, which are not going away, um, as well as our paid video casts, um, we really want to make those affordable for all of you so that you can come and spend that time with us and really, really expand your knowledge in sewing, machine embroidery, quilting, and even handwork. So our video cast is only $5.99. It's, you know, the, the cost of an app, um, and uh, really that is to pay for the development and the brand new platform that you're going to experience with this. Um, we want to make sure that everyone is able to attend our events like this, and you know what? Lots of you asked for video instruction, and we wanted to figure out a way to bring it to you in a really innovative, very interactive way. And it took a lot, a lot of time and consideration, and I'm just so proud of it. I think you all will really have a great time, so make sure you head on over. Um, I will put the link to register again in the comments there so that you can head on over, check out the site, register, put that in your cart, and join us for a really, really great time on November 10th. In the meantime, I hope you have a wonderful Halloween this weekend. I want to see all of your costumes. So take pictures of your costumes, the ones that you help make, things like that. We want to see them um, on the Sulky page and hashtag so better with Sulky when you're posting those because we really, really love to see what you're creating. And then as we get ready for Thanksgiving, I hope that you give these placemats a try and the cute little hedgehog 
cutlery holder as well. So let us know how all of that goes for you and if you have other ideas for projects you would like to see or projects you need help with, don't hesitate to reach out to us at info at So everyone have a beautiful day and I will see you next time.